Hi everyone and welcome back to this series of uh, solving exam problems for electrical A1 uh, circuit exam for BAO. Now uh, I finished two different types of questions. The first one is about reducing a circuit and finding the equivalent resistance. I have a couple uh, of uh, questions. And I then the second category of questions, which is basically about uh, different uh, circuit analysis technique like nodal, mesh, and so on position, and I solved a few questions. The third category of the BEO electrical A1 uh, exam questions is about Thevenin equivalent. And the Thevenin equivalent comes in two forms, either in DC circuit, like in this example uh, in December 2018, or in AC circuit. I will be solving AC circuit later later on. But before solving the question, let's try to understand the fundamentals of Thevenin equivalent. So basically, uh, Thevenin equivalent, you will have a circuit, a linear circuit. Regardless how complicated is the circuit, you are interested to find the equivalent of the circuit between A and B. What do we mean by equivalent? It will be basically a voltage source we call it V Thevenin in series with a resistance, we call it R Thevenin, and this is your A and B, meaning that these two elements will represent the whole circuit, regardless how big is that circuit. The question is why we need to do that. There are a couple of well, there are a couple of reasons. One of them, basically, when we simplify the circuit, we make certain calculations, like, for example, in power system, the short circuit analysis, much, much easier. The second application of Thevenin, and that is basically the way the question is asked in the uh, electrical A1BO exam, is what is the value of the resistance here, or that will lead to a maximum power transfer from the circuit to the to the load okay so if we have our r here what is the value of this r so that i will have maximum power transfer without going into the detailed math the condition for this this is your r should equal to r thevenin so when I ask you what is the value of R so that we will have maximum power transfer, it's an indirect way to ask you to find the Thevenin equivalent. So that will lead to B max at the load, at this resistance. Now what is the value of this B max? Very simple, we can calculate it from here. If I want to find, this is if this is your voltage V out, we know that the power P is equal to V naught squared divided by R. But I'd like to represent this in terms of V Thevenin and R Thevenin. Okay, so V out is uh, nothing but using the voltage division, it's V Thevenin times R over R plus R Thevenin. Now I want to calculate this at the condition of P uh, power, uh, maximum power transfer, so that two resistors are equal. So it is V Thevenin times. Uh, R over R plus R or V Thevenin divide by 2. So your V output is V Thevenin by 2. And this sort of makes sense because when you have two resistors in series with a voltage supply and they are equal, then each resistance will have half of that voltage. So your P max will equal to V Thevenin divided by 2 square divided by R, which is R Thevenin. So the maximum power is basically V Thevenin squared divided by 4 R Thevenin. That is the formula for B max. Now, how to calculate both V Thevenin and R Thevenin? There are a couple of approaches. We will go through only one approach that is applicable to every single circuit. There are some other approaches that are applicable to certain circuits and not applicable to other circuits. But to avoid any confusion, we'll just go with one, one approach. So we need to bring the circuit here. And this is your circuit. And you need to find V open circuit, V open circuit, which is basically your V Thevenin. Then bring the circuit again and solve it again. But then between the two points of interest, this is basically A and B, you will have a short circuit and you calculate I short circuit. 
and your R thibelin is nothing but V uh, it is V thibelin divided by I short circuit. This is how to find your R R thibelin. Without overdue, now we are ready to solve this example. So in this example here, we have a voltage-dependent current source in a DC circuit. You want to find what is the value of RL? What is the value of the resistance? If I connect it here, you will have maximum power transfer between A and B. So this is exactly what I was talking about. You need to find V thevenin and R thevenin and then calculate this maximum power. So we start by basically finding the V open circuit. Now I will use nodal analysis something we did before so we choose a reference the voltage here equal to zero and then we assign values or a variable for every single node so this is basically the voltage between here to the reference is 50 volt because we have the voltage supply in between this is the voltage between this point and that point this is the variable that controls the dependent source and it's basically v0 so this node voltage is the same as this dependent variable which is v0 and the node here is your v open circuit so basically we have one two three nodes this node we don't touch because it has a voltage source we know the voltage there so we have only two nodes to apply kcl so apply kcl at v open circuit we have one two branches then you have to have two items in your equation now, except for the current sources, which is given with certain direction, you cannot touch. You can assume that this is the current going this way. So we'll have V open circuit minus V naught divided by four, this current, plus 0.5 V naught equal to zero. Multiply everything by four. So V open circuit minus V naught plus 2v not equal to 0 so v open circuit plus v not equal to 0 so this will lead that your v open circuit is equal to minus v not and this is my first equation then i will apply kcl to v not itself assume the currents are leaving now this current is entering now it doesn't really matter the current direction as far as you apply KCL correctly, which is current enter the node, equal current leaves the node. So the direction is basically doesn't really matter. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four branches connected to the node. So I should have four items in my equation. So KCL at the V naught. So we'll have V naught minus 50 divided by 2 plus V naught minus zero divide by five plus v naught minus v open circuit divide by four this current is entering this is equal to 0.5 v naught then multiply everything times 20 mm -hmm. so we will have 10 times v naught minus 50 plus 4 v naught plus 5 v naught minus v open circuit and this is equal to 10 v naught let me open the brackets so we will have here 10 v naught minus 500 plus 4 v naught plus 5 v naught minus 5 v open circuit equal to 10 v naught this will cancel so we have 4 and 5, this is 9 V naught, but we know V naught is equal to minus V open circuit. So substitute here, then we will have minus 9 V open circuit minus 5 V open circuit, and this will equal to the 500. So minus 14 V open circuit equal to 500 then your V open circuit will equal to minus 35.71 volt. That is the open circuit voltage. Okay, now we are done with the V open circuit, which is basically your V thevenin is equal to minus 35.71 volts. So we are halfway through. Now let's go and find I short circuit. This is your I 
short circuit. Again, we'll use nodal. So this V equal to zero. Okay. This node has a voltage equal to 50 volt. This is again V naught. And this is basically zero because this is all of this is one point now. There is no any element. So all of it, it has the same potential, which is equal to zero. Assume the currents are leaving, except this is entering. So KCL at V naught. So V naught minus 50 divided by two plus V naught divided by five plus V naught divided by four equal to 0.5 V naught, the current that entered the node, multiply everything times 20. So this is 10 V naught minus 50 plus four V naught plus five V naught equal to 10 V naught. So this basically will cancel. So we'll have nine V naught is equal to 500. So your V naught is equal to 500 divided by nine, which is equal to 55.56 volt. So now I know this voltage. Now I need to find my I short circuit. Okay, assume the current is entering here. I short circuit is leaving. This is leaving. Apply KCL at node A. So KCL at A. Then we will have V naught divided by 4. This is the current that entered the node is equal to 0.5 V naught plus my I short circuit. So this will lead that my I short circuit will equal to minus V naught divided by 4, which is equal to minus 13.89 amps. From this, your R thevenin is equal to your V thevenin divided by I short circuit, which is equal to minus 35.71 divided by minus 13.89, which is equal to 2.57 ohm. And of course, R thevenin has to be has to be a positive number. Now your B max equal to V thevenin squared divided by four R thevenin, and this is equal to minus thirty five point seventy one squared divided by four times two point fifty seven, and this approximately will give you one hundred twenty four watt. So this is how we can solve uh, basically a uh, Thevenin equivalent question. Now there is a shortcut for this question uh, to find, for example, the V open circuit. I'd like to share it with you, but of course you can use nodal and it is working very well, but this is a shortcut I'd like to share it with you. The shortcut is basically based on source transformation. So it says that if I have a voltage source in series with a resistance R, supply this is equivalent when we have a current source with parallel with the same resistance r and the relationship between these two quantities is the ohm's law so you are basically your vs is equal to is times r so we can see here there is a current source in basically in series with a resistance and i can have this as 4 ohm and in series with this supply, which is minus plus 0.5 times 4, which is 2V0. And then I will keep the rest of the circuit as it is. So it becomes a very simple circuit to analyze. And this is my V open circuit. This is 2 ohm, and this is 50 volt. This is 5 ohm, and here is your V naught. Now, this is an open circuit, so the I here is equal to zero. So the current that goes here, I, is the same as this current. So this is basically two resistors in series with a voltage supply. So your V naught using voltage division is 50 times five divided by two plus five. And this will give me 35.71 volt. 
Apply KVL to this loop. KVL. Start from here. 2V0. The voltage drop here is 0 because I is equal to 0. So there is no voltage drop across the 4 ohm. Plus V open circuit. Minus v not equal to zero and this is what we got last time in the open circuit analysis v open circuit is equal to minus v not which is equal to minus 35.71 volt so this is an easier way basically to find your uh, your uh, output uh, uh, voltage now to do the short circuit with a different technique i think nodal is basically pretty the the easiest one so this is how to deal with a Thevenin equivalent question. I will try to solve uh, more in Thevenin AC and also cover other parts of the, of the exam.